Hi, my name is Madison. And I'm Hannah. This is our video on the Clostridium vaccine. Specifically, Clostridium chavoy or black leg. Clostridium chavoy, the bacteria that causes black leg, is a gram positive anaerobic spore forming and soil borne bacteria. This means bacteria have a thick cell wall, does not use oxygen to function, forms spores, and are spread throughout the soil. Black leg, once in the body, produces five toxins, alpha hemolysin, necrotoxin, beta deoxyribonuclease, gamma hyaluronidase, and delta hemolysin. These toxins cause disease by damaging the cells and surrounding tissue while disabling the immune system. This disease is acquired through ingestion of infected grass or water. From there, the bacteria gain entrance into the body through small punctures in the mucous membrane of the digestive tract. Black leg causes many symptoms such as lameness, depression, loss of appetite, and a painful swollen limb. This painful swollen limb is caused by the localized inflammation of muscle cells infected with the Clostridium chavoy and the toxins that are produced. This can also cause the skin to turn dry, cold, and leathery. This leads to generalized toxemia and the death of the infected animal. So obviously, we want to do what we can to protect cattle from such a painful fate, so we've developed vaccines. First off, it's recommended to vaccinate a pregnant cow about four months before she gives birth for the sake of her calf. Why? While well, mothers pass on antibodies, which are proteins that identify and inactivate disease-causing materials, and they pass this on to their offspring through their milk. This is called passive immunity. For the first few months, this will protect the calf, but by four months of age, they should receive their first clostridial vaccine. The vaccine is a type of vaccine known as a toxoid, which means that instead of using pieces of bacteria to teach the body, it uses the toxins the bacteria produce. So in the case of blackleg, vaccinations commonly have toxin A. And don't worry, the toxins are made inactive by a chemical known as formalin before they're put into the vaccine. Once the vaccine is injected into the muscle of the calf, dendritic cells find the toxins and then bring them to the lymph nodes to present them to T cells. The T cells become activated and in turn the inflammatory response is activated. Other immune cells migrate to the area to attack the vaccine. After having conquered these inactivated toxins, memory B cells are formed. The calf is then given a booster a few months later. This time, the body immediately recognizes the toxins and destroys them quickly, at the same time producing proteins based off of the memory B cells that will inactivate the toxins and mark them for destruction by other immune cells. Thanks for watching our video. We hope that you learned a lot about the Clostridial vaccine. Bye!